So this just seems like a thing this week. <laughs> the whole not picking up the vlogging camera till 11.30. Part of the problem is that I only have one battery for this camera. I need to rectify that problem, but you know, first I need to finish paying for this camera. Well, like I paid for it, but I'd like to have not spent all my disposable income on buying a new camera before I buy it a new battery. So that means that when I run the battery out filming tutorials and things of that nature, then I don't have the camera working to vlog. Frustrating. So then, I don't vlog and I don't vlog and then there's parts of my day that I can't vlog because you know the whole kids thing and anyways then it gets to be 11:30, and I'm like oh no you didn't do that thing you wanted to do all day long so right now it's 11:30, and I'm drinking a cup of English breakfast tea this time without cream or sugar in it because I just had a large chunk of white chocolate fudge and it was delicious. And shortly, as in like, well, I mean, I guess by the time y'all see this, I will have uploaded today, Friday's, Feed Your Face February video of me making that white chocolate fudge. Um, so yeah, which didn't happen till later in the day than I'd hoped because of, well, a number of things. First of all, I slept in crazy late again today, like after 10 before I got up. I just wasn't having it. I got up, well, first of all, I didn't go to sleep till like a quarter to five last night. No, quarter to four. Yes, it was 3.45 when I went to bed. And that was because I, the night before, I had edited a tutorial, right? Almost all the way done. Then Movie Maker was giving me a small hiccup at the end, so I was just like, you know, I'm gonna go to sleep. I know better than to mess with the project. Once you start getting in that like spiral of problems, it's like done. I'm just gonna step away, let all of its little like electronical things calm down, and I'll play with it tomorrow. So then, last night, I opened it up to go ahead and play with it then. And like Movie Maker was basically a black screen, but it showed content. Like it showed 29 or more minutes of footage, but I couldn't see any of it except the captions. Anyways, I finally got frustrated and like pushed a button. I was like, fine, I'm just gonna re-add all the video. So I go and I add one clip in and poof, everything was there. You know, just slightly before I started bawling at the computer for driving me crazy. It was all there. So I finished that and, um, Got that to, did I finish it all the way? No, I didn't finish it all the way. Because what I had to do was end up resaving the file a different way. And of course the saving time takes a while. So I got that all set up and had that running overnight while I slept. And then I was working on another pattern, <laughs> which I got to the point where, um, I filmed everything I could of it and then I needed to do some more work on it. Um, you know, cause in the tutorials, I don't show like every stitch. There's portions where I'm like, Hey, I'll meet you at this point. Well, you know what? That means you have to do the work between point A and point B to show them. So I uh, was doing that work and then I decided finally to go to sleep because I was like, this is just crazy. So I did, I went to sleep and I got up this morning at 7:45, and my alarm was set because I'm like, I'm going to get an early start. I'm just going to cram out a bunch of the stuff I need to do today. Cause I just need to get it done. So my alarm goes off and I look out my window and there's snow on the ground. Like, not a lot, just a very, very light dusting, but snow nonetheless. And like the groundhog, I turned my butt around and got back in bed <laughs> and pulled the covers up over my head and cuddled with my kid and went back to sleep. And then, um, like I heard Steve get home and everybody's been sleeping in. And so once I heard my last kid get up, and then I started to really consider getting out of bed. And a little while after that, I finally did. So that was kind of how that went, which also meant I got a late start to my day. I'm trying to think if I got much productive done in the house today. I mean, I cooked and stuff, but what did we do? I feel like, oh, that's what we did all day today. We practiced for club day for 4-H. So my daughter was practicing her recitation and her poem reading and her like presentation, her like speech thing. And Steve and I were practicing being good audience members, you know, like 
not making fun of what's being said and not mocking it and pretending to pay attention and having a nice smile, all those things. So hopefully tomorrow I can um, exude that good audience member quality. Um, a little annoyed, I finally got a text message from the leader at 10.21 tonight going, hey, so did you know what time we need to be there for club day and everything? Did you get my text? And I'm like, no, I didn't get anything. Now, I had already figured it all out because I searched out the information myself, but still, you know. Anyways, I uh, have to be up early again tomorrow, and I have to this time, and I have to get the kids all out the door. And I think I figured out we have to leave here by like between 7 and 7.15. Luckily, breakfast is already made. There's still biscuits, like leftover ones in the fridge. So we'll just have those. And then we will be at club day all day tomorrow. To like somewhere between, I'm guessing, one ish, one and two ish. And then I get to come home. And Steve and I were already talking about like the brick wall that I'm just going to hit. I'm already somewhat dreading the um, conditions I know we're going to be in, surrounded by children and parents and in small settings and chaos and people not being where they're supposed to be and all the things that are large group settings and not my favorite things. Um, but I guess that's just the way it is. I will learn to live with it and be a big grown up about it, right? <laughs> so I, uh, I'll just know that I'll come home and crash basically. Um, Hopefully I get most of the work I want to get done tonight done tonight. I have things saving. I'm about to go and film some more stuff here. I just wanted to make sure I got the vlog done because, you know, kind of a priority. I just need all the things to work together to make this work. But it'll all be okay. It'll all get done. It'll all be good. I'm happy with the <laughs> products on the other end. Like, even if there's stress and stuff and some of the filming and the editing and the putting together, I still am happy with the product I'm putting out. So, I mean, that's good. And it's still fun, even though it's stressful sometimes. Parts that's stressful are the parts that make me feel like I don't know what I'm doing when I'm just doing the same thing I always do. And clearly I need to work on the time management aspect, but that's quite difficult when I do not have control over my own time. As Steve always says, it's what you have. When you have kids, you give up your right to control your own time. And physical space, for that matter. But at least they're cute, right? And they're fun. And they like the things that I do and all their nice praise as well. Nice and praisey. So, I shall leave you here. And I shall go and do more things, which you can see at some point. Oh, by the way, um, my latest pattern, the Check Me Out hat has gone up on the Crochet Hangout uh, YouTube page. It is not yet up on their website. I will go ahead and throw a card up to the, um, the video if you'd like to go and see it and like give me some love over there. And just to make clear, because I don't know if I've made this clear before. So like, I have nothing to do with the website or the YouTube page. Like, I get nothing out of it. But if you want to see the things that I've been doing, that is where it is going and I'm happy for you to support them. I just want to make sure that you know that's like not me. I figure that for those of you that watch me regularly will know just because other than the videos sound like me um and I mean I wrote the patterns and stuff and I wrote the physical copies of the patterns but the other like captiony bits don't sound like me and there's a reason because they're not me so just you know file that and um yeah I will talk to you all tomorrow. Nighty night.